Wow. One of the biggest upsets in the history of the UFC just happened tonight. Juliana Pena submitted Amanda Nunez for the championship. Wow. Who saw this coming? You know, Amanda Nunez, you know, it's crazy to think of, you know, all the years ago when people thought Ronda Rousey was untouchable and then she got beat by Holly Holm. No, Amanda Nunez is another level of untouchable. And Juliana Pena, what a performance. What a performance. Fully deserved. I mean, you, you, it takes a lot for somebody to get into the octagon with Amanda Nunez. And she proved everybody wrong. And it just, wow. Incredible performance. It just, I, I can't, I, it's, it's hard to even react much because it's just an incredible performance. Um, obviously, there will be a rematch between these two, probably sooner rather than later. But, oh my gosh, that is, in my opinion, awesome uh, for the women's side of the UFC. Because you've got Nama Hunis, you've got Shevchenko, you've got Wei Li is still around. And now Amanda Nunez lost. That is insane. And, you know, you knew eventually. Listen, it's nice to to sit here and, and say uh, that Nunez would have won and won and won and won. Eventually, somebody was going to step up. And it just so happened that tonight was the night. And Juliana Pena is the one that did it. You know, it, it no mere, no run like this that Amanda Nunez was having. It's hard for that to last forever. As much as every fight that she, Amanda Nunez has, we expect her to win. It's there's eventually, eventually, the bubble's gonna burst, and tonight was the night where somebody finally got the best of her. What was it? Nine fights in a row. Nine, nine, and Juliana Pena's the winner. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's UFC history, folks. Huge underdog. I mean, wow. <laughs> what can you say?